And welcome back to the backstory for the news of January 18th, 2014. This is the show that gives you the uh, the backstory and the behind-the-scenes details about some of the major news stories for the week. Uh, beginning with the announcement of The Wind Rises getting a uh, a, a, a nomination in the uh, for an Oscar, which is really awesome. Um, the thing about that is that there's been, only been one other animated film to win an Oscar, and that was Miyazaki's Spirited Away. Um, that was back in, um, I forget where. Um, there was a, a, another Best Animated Short Film winner of, um, in 2009, Le Maison en Petit Cube, also won. And that, that is actually a Japanese work. Um, let's see here. Um, now, others have been certainly nominated. So, um, let's see here. Uh, his previous, so several of his previous films were kind of put in there, but never actually went anywhere. Uh, now, I laughed when I s mentioned that uh, Miyazaki called this his retirement work. Uh, Miyazaki has retired seven times so far in his career, and he said that he re retired at the end of uh, Making the Wind Rises, and then I think it was last week he announced, oh yeah, I'm not really in retirement. Uh, but when he, when he said this uh, about the Oscar nomination, he said it's a huge honor for my retirement work. Yeah, the guy's going to retire when he actually... Um, gets interred into the ground, to be honest. He's just, he, he keeps going. He's one of those guys who just keeps on going. So that is the backstory there. Um, meanwhile, uh, so there's this news from Funimation that they're moving to more of a Crunchyroll model for their videos. Um, this is due to the ongoing nature of the streaming model in America. One of the difficulties is just monetizing it. From what I, from the people I've talked to, Streaming anime doesn't make much money. It just doesn't. So they're trying to do something there to um, push people to, to subscribe and to actually do things. And the thing here is that this, this, this isn't about lining the pockets of, of fat cat companies. Um, if streaming doesn't work very well and it doesn't make much money, uh, very little of that then goes back to the uh, original anime studios to make more anime. So it is actually quite important that we get that. Um, so Funimation is now switching to a model where um, everything is delayed by a week unless you pay for their elite subscription model, um, except for One Piece and Toriko. Uh, now those are two pretty big series, and so they are basically saying um, folks would scream and yell too much, um, and uh, you know, so we're gonna have to air that as it comes out but the rest of them will be uh, delayed a week, basically. So that's a pretty common thing these days to, to push people to, to subscribe because the subscriptions are important. Um, uh, in other words, the model really isn't paying for itself at this point. Um, so they need to find a way to make it pay for itself. I mean, I think it's, it's, it's not losing money on Crunchyroll, for example, but I don't think there's a huge amount of revenue for many of these legal anime streaming sites. And that really should change at some point. All right, uh, so those are the two major things I wanted to mention this week uh, for the backstory. Um, so I think that'll do it for this episode, short and sweet. Thanks for watching.